All right, so welcome back to another video. In this video, you guys are probably studying for your midterms and you guys wanna learn how to do systems of equations. So we're gonna use a method that works for every systems equation, which is called um, elimination. Elimination. And I'll show you how to do it. So basically, you look at your x terms. Usually you wanna look at your x or y, but usually I look at the x because it's easier. And you find the least common multiple. So looking at the leading term, this is a two. So what are the multiples of two? It's gonna be two, four, six, eight, just to write down a few. And there's technically an imaginary 1 in front of this x, right? So what are the multiples of 1? It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., right? Continue on. So what's the least common multiple? I could see a 2 here and a 2 here. So 2 is going to be your least common multiple. So in this case, this one you don't change, right? Because it's already a 2, so you just write it down. 2x plus 5y is equal to 19. But for this one, this is a 1, right? So how do we get from 1 to 2? What do we multiply by? We multiply by 2. And we have to do this for the entire equation. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative 2y is negative 4y, that's equal to 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8. Remember, you have to pay attention to the signs, and you have to just multiply through. Now that we have 2x and 2x, this is why it's called elimination, because now we just subtract. What's 2x minus 2x? That's going to give us 0. 5y minus negative 4y, so 5y minus negative 4y, right? Remember, you have to subtract through with every single sign. So 5y, negative negative makes a positive, right? So it's going to be plus 4y. That's going to be equal to 9y. So we have 9y is equal to 19 minus negative 8. Let's write it down in case you guys are trying to visualize it. 19 minus negative 8. That's 19. Negative negative is positive plus 8. What's 19 plus 8? That's 27. So 9y is equal to 27. We get divide both sides by 9. 9 over 9 cancels out. y is equal to 27 over 9, which is 3. So the value of y is 3. Now, how do we find x? All we have to do is plug it back in. So let's use this equation right here. So we have 2x plus 5y is equal to 19. We plug in the value of y for 3. 2x plus 5 times 3 is equal to 19. 2x plus 15 is equal to 19. Subtract 15 on both sides, giving us 2x is equal to 19 minus 15, which is 4. Divide both sides by 2, giving you x is equal to 2. And y is equal to 3. So that's how you solve systems of equation using elimination. So let's try another practice problem. So we have 4x plus 2y is equal to 14. 3x minus 5y is equal to negative 22. So feel free to work on this by yourself for a few minutes and see if you get a solution. Then you can check with me to see, you know, if you did it right. So what are some multiples of 4? Let's jot it down. So it's 4, 8, 12, 16. And then if we need to continue. So usually I just list 4. Usually that works. How about for 3? It's going to be 3. 6, 9, 12, etc. So what is the least common multiple? It's going to be 12, right? That's the least common one that they share. So how do we get from 4 to 12? We have to multiply by 3. And how do we get from 3 to 12? We multiply by 4. So what's 3 times 4x? That's 12x. What's 3 times 2y? That's 6y. And that's equal to 3 times 14, which is 42. Now we do the same thing for the lower equation so it's 4 times 3x which is 12x and as long as these two align you're looking at 4 times negative 5y is negative 20y and 4 times negative 22 is negative 88 now we have to use elimination so it means we subtract again these as long as they align they'll cancel out 12x minus 12x cancels out 6y minus negative 20y what is that equal to that's equal to 6y negative negative makes a positive 20y. 6y plus 20y is 26y. That's equal to 42 minus negative 88. Remember to carry through this negative, right? So what's 42 minus minus 88? That's equal to 42. Negative negative is positive, 88. 42 plus 88 is 130, giving us 26y is equal to 130. Now in order to get x by, I mean y by itself, we divide both sides by 26. 26 over 26 cancels out. Y is equal to 130 over 26, which if you plug into your calculator is 5. And now that we have the value of Y is equal to 5, how do we find the value of X? So we plug it back in. So I'm going to choose our first equation. So 4X plus 2Y is equal to 14. Now we plug in Y for 5, we get 4X plus 2 times 5, which is 10, is equal to 14. Minus 10 on both sides. Now we end up with 4X is equal to 14 minus 10, which is 4. Divide both sides by 4, giving us x is equal to 4 over 4, which is 1. So the value of x is 1, value of y is 5, and that's how you do it. And if you want to write your answer as an ordered pair, it's 1, 5. So this is how you use 
systems and equations or solve systems equations using elimination. So in the next video, we might go over uh, substitution or other processes. So see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.